Well, online on social media, you know, it's difficult to remember that what you see is not always what you get. So there was this post that went around in Big Lake community pages recently. And guess what? It turns out what was said in that post just wasn't true. And Sharon Yu sat down with a man who was heartbroken about being falsely accused in those posts of doing something he wasn't doing. Vigilance is the bread and butter of neighborhood living. But when fear becomes pervasive on online neighborhood watch forums, it can get nasty. I've been here this long, why move? Roger. And I like the community. Who's lived in Big Lake for I half a century. Since 1970, 50 years. Knows, unfortunately, firsthand. My boy's truck was broke down and he needed a, a truck to drive for a couple of days. And on my way going to pick him up, I turned one block too soon. Turned around in the driveway and I, st I start going the other way and I stopped and I texted, I ca called him. A brief moment on the wrong road in his white pickup. Roger didn't know he was photographed. What he also didn't know was that whoever took his picture felt threatened and posted this on Facebook. She called me a creeper and she lied to me. She said I took pictures and I didn't take any pictures. And I told the chief, I said, here's my phone, you can look at it. Big Lake Police Chief Joel Scharf says he was clued into this last minute. Number one, I was upset that the person that had posted it had said they reported it. It hadn't been reported. You're making serious allegations that are going out to thousands of people with photos, accusations that are baseless until you've actually spoken to the person and investigated what took place. So he looked into it, found Roger on the other side of it all, just a misunderstanding. He says social media helps, but not like this. The majority of things that we solve come through citizen reports. They know when something's not right in their neighborhood, but they're partnering with law enforcement, not with a local gossip network. Casey's General Store there, Casey's. I stopped there in the morning and somebody called me a pervert. Because of the post, because of his truck, Roger has been hurt. That's my little cheapy little $49 Walmart phone. He doesn't even have Facebook but he says he wants others to not take that platform at its face value. A lot of the stuff you see on that isn't true and to understand that people's lives matter and it hurts them. Maybe other people might not think that way, but I do because I was the victim here. That this should have never happened. The most important takeaway here, both Roger and the police chief say, if something concerns you in the neighborhood, if you're scared, call police. That's what they're there for. and. As for Roger, he says he would like a personal apology from the person who posted it, but you know how that goes. You know, and in his defense, I'm just like, that's so sad. Like, that stuff lives on those pages for a really long time. And some people, uh, we know, don't see this report. Some people didn't see the verification. And to, for someone like Roger, who doesn't even have Facebook, who's never been a part of social media, to wrap his head around the concept of social media, and then all of a sudden he's being attacked because his wife saw something on social media oh. about his truck, he just didn't understand. He was confused, and now he's scared. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Well, thanks for checking that out, Sharon. It certainly does matter.